Hello everyone, welcome to this whip update. I have a small haul. Well, it's not really a small haul, but I'm not going to do it during in this video. Because I have a few things to show you. So I did a few stitches into this Primrose by Lenart. The pattern, I don't know if you can see the pattern, it doesn't have any of those tin, you know how in most patterns you have the 10 by 10 grids and it has the lines. Well, this one doesn't have that. So it's kind of <laughs> a little bit challenging. So I've only got, I did a few lot more lines into this one. Can't even probably tell. It's as far as I've gotten. I also, in April, worked, got most of this done all the way to the edge here. I don't know if I showed this in the last video. Here is what the view graphic will look like when it's done. So that's as far as I got on that. Daisy by, um, I think it's Dimensions, um, just a chart. I haven't been working on that at all this in May. This is what I've been working on in May. This is the Gossamer Threads, and it's from um, Cross Stitch and Needlework Magazine 2013. So it turned out really, turning out really well. I'm really close to being finished with this one. I bought a new, this is one of my haul things. I do 11 by 11 Q-snap. So this is what I've been working on almost all of May. <clears throat> so I decided, with all the stitch mania, you know, going on, I thought, <laughs> okay, I want to do one. And I decided to do this one. Laura Corbett Daisy. So I got another Daisy. This is like the Daisy Fairy. So I've only gotten a little bit done here. Can you even see it? Yeah, nothing really. I mean, this is like the one of the first times I've, besides the, you know, the Primrose, which is the thing, the Alfonso Mucha design. That's the only one I've done on linen or even weave since, I think it's linen, since uh, like 10 or 20 years ago. I did maybe 20, 2006, I think I finished the Mirabilia gathering eggs and that was like the first linen I'd ever done over two. So then I, today I, I fell prey to the stitch mania again. So I decided to try this beaded kit by Mill Hill. It's called Be Brave and it's the uh, Amy Lee Weeks. And this is how far I've gotten on it so far today. So that is my whip update. I've just, I have, I, d I have had a little bit of a problem with my wrist. I've been getting um, spasms, like sometimes down here in my forearm, and sometimes here. This is my mouse hand. When I, I'm, I'm a graphic artist, and I work at a newspaper, and so I'm always using this hand for the mouse. And I got this spasm the other day and my whole hand like you know went like that and so I've been getting those every once in a while so I'm having to slow down a little bit on my stitching because it's hurting my hand a little bit so that's my update I hope it makes sense to you hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think thank you bye, -bye.